Welcome to BK Academy of Chess. The sheathing and variation of the Sicilian defense is characterized by the moves e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, e6, the d6, e6 pawn center affords black control of the critical d5, and e5 squares, and retains flexibility to break in the center with either e5, or d5. The sheathing and variation is a classically motivated defense which appreciates the advantages of an extra center pawn and a more compact structure. It has been at the forefront of modern tournament practice for many years, yet its complexities show no signs of being exhausted. White has several different attacking schemes available, but the one considered most dangerous is the Kurz attack, which continues g4. This move takes advantage of the fact that e6 cuts off the black bishop's control of g4 and plans to force the knight on f6, black's only developed piece, to retreat and force black into passivity. This also launches white into a kingside attack. Black usually continues with h6 to stop white's expansion. Previously moves like knight c6 or a6 were also recommended for black but practical testing have proven that white's offensive is too dangerous to be ignored. h4 is the strongest and the most popular continuation. The alternative runs g5, h takes g5, bishop takes g5, knight c6, queen d2, queen b6, knight b3, a6, castle queenside, bishop d7, h4, gives white an equal game at best. With h6, h4, knight c6, rook g1, here, there are two main lines giving white a slight edge, the first runs d5, bishop b5, bishop d7, e takes d5, knight takes d5, knight takes d5, e takes d5, queen e2, bishop e7, knight f5, bishop takes f5, g takes f5, king f8, bishop e3, queen a5, and the second line runs rook g1, h5, g takes h5, knight takes h5, bishop g5, knight f6, queen d2. One way to avoid the dangerous Kurz attack is with an Eidorf variation move order e4, c5, knight e3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6, and then play e6, transposing into the Schiefningen. The most prominent example of such a preference for the Nidorf move order was seen in World Chess Championship 1984, where after game 1 when Kasparov had difficulties in the opening, he never allowed the Kurz attack and finally switched to the Nidorf move order. Another popular variation is the classical variation, also known as Marochi variation, which is initiated by Bishop E2, used to great effect by Anatoly Karpov. The main line continues A6, castle, Bishop E7, Bishop E3, castle, E4, Queen C7, A4, Knight C6, King H1, Rook E8, Bishop F3, reaching one of the main tabias of classical Schiefningen. White's plans here are to build up a kingside attack typically by means of g4, to g5, the queen on d1, to e1, to h4, bishop g2, queen h5, rook f3, to h3. Black will aim for a diversion on the queen side via the semi-open c-file, or strike in the center. Positional pawn sacrifices abound for both sides and the theory very highly developed. The currently fashionable approach is English attack. White starts an aggressive pawn storm on the king side with f3, g4, h4, and often g5. White castle queenside, and a very sharp game is often the result. Black, however, does not have to acquiesce to passive defense and has at least as many threats of his or her own. The main line continues bishop e3, a6, e3, b5, g4, h6, queen d2, knight bd7, castle queenside, bishop b7, White's plans are to force g5 and open the king side files to his advantage. The first player may also exert considerable pressure on the d file. Black will often consider an exchange sacrifice or at least a pawn sacrifice to open the queen side files for the heavy pieces. Other popular alternatives include bishop c4 and f4 and the less challenging side lines g3 and bishop b5. In the Fisher attack, bishop c4 White tries to pressure the d5 square directly. Viable black responses in the center include variations of knight c6, to knight a5, or knight bd7, to knight c5, supplemented by a6, and b5, 
to b4, on the queen side. The line runs bishop e7, bishop b3, castle, bishop e3, knight a6, aiming for the c5 square. Note that after bishop e3, in case of knight bd7, bishop takes e6, if takes e6, knight takes e6, queen a5, knight takes f8, bishop takes f8. White sacrifices two pieces for a rook, so after bishop e3, knight a6, the line continues queen e2, knight c5, e3. The ensuing position is balanced, with black ready to counter white's g4, to g5, with a6, and b5, to b4, on the other flank. With the tall variation, e4, one of the main lines, knight c6, bishop e3, bishop e7, queen f3, White seeks to castle queenside placing his rook on the half-open d-file and support the g-pong's advance with the queen. And there you have it, the Shevening and variation of the Sicilian defense. Thanks for tuning into BK Academy of Chess, where together we build and over the board we even the score.